All right. In the last video, we added together vectors a and b. Okay, and we started by breaking down the components of each one individually. And then we added together the x and y components from each one. So we added the x components from a and b, added together y con components from a and, b, a and b. And we got our final components for our c vector, which is the resultant vector there. Okay, now we didn't quite finish because we ran out of time. I'm only allowed 10 minutes on a video. And so what we need to do here is finalize this by putting together the two component vectors to get our final resultant vector. Now you should be able to get the, the magnitude pretty easily. It's just Pythagorean theorem. You know that x and y will always be a right angle. So you should be able to do 7.5 squared plus 7.5 squared, get the answer, and then square root it. So let's go ahead and do that. So it'll be 7. Point 7.5 squared plus 7.5 squared. Now obviously one of those was negative, but when you square it, it doesn't matter. Okay, and then we need to square root that because it's equal to c squared. And so we get 10.6. And so this is going to be 10. Point 0.6. That's the magnitude. Now we need to find out the direction. The direction should be pretty easy once you have all of this because we're just going to find one of these angles here. Okay. I'm going to do this one because that is actually the direction of my vector. So let's find that. We can use tangent, cosine, theta. Since these were the original pieces, I'm going to go ahead and use tangent, opposite over adjacent. Okay. Uh, many of you will recognize this already as being a 45, 45, 90. But if you didn't, then you would do tangent of the angle that I'm trying to find equals opposite over adjacent. And so that means that the angle will be equal to the inverse tangent of 7.5 divided by 7.5, which of course is 1. But when we go to our calculator and we put that in, we will do the inverse tangent of 7.5 divided by 7.5, and we get 45. Okay, so 45 degrees, so theta equals 45 degrees, and so our final answer is that the resultant vector is 10.6 newtons at, and then from here you can either do, since that's 45, you could say it's at negative 45, because from the zero it would be down 45, or you could say, my drawing here has it being 45 uh, east of south. And so I'm going to put that down, 45 degrees east of south. Now some of you will probably ask, well, can we put southeast here? Yes, you can actually put southeast here since it's directly in between south and east. Okay, so that is our answer, and that's the, the end of this example.